In this lesson, I will show you how to do steps one and two of the shorts, which is fabric layout. To begin, you will take your fabric and you need to determine the right and wrong sides. Print fabrics, you can tell the right from the wrong side, so we have the right side, which is the good side, and the wrong side. The other thing that you need to look at is the cut edges and the salvage edges. So along here is the cut edges where they cut it at the store, and here we have the salvages, which sometimes have writing on it, sometimes are white, sometimes they are not white, but they will never ravel. So to begin, you want to take the fabric and put the right sides on the inside. So you will flip your fabric so that the right sides are on the inside. Then you're going to take your fabric, lay it down on the table, and match up the salvages. Now, to make sure that they stay, you're going to take your pins and you're going to pin about every 10 inches. So to pin, you just make sure that the edges of the salvage are even, and then you take a pin, you go in, you make a little bump, little mountain, and come back out again. Now remember again, I am left-handed, so I pin with my left hand. You will be pinning with your right hand if you're right-handed. About another 10 to 12 inches. Pin. Keep your, working your way down, and do not try to get the whole thing even to begin with, and then pin. You want to even it and pin, and keep working your way down to the end of the fabric. Okay, once you're finished with that, the next thing that you want to do is take your fabric and smooth it out, okay? You want to make sure that you don't have any big wrinkles or big bumps in the underneath layer of your fabric. Because if you do, then your pattern will be two different sizes. So please make sure, and with flannel fabric, it sticks even a little bit more. Next thing you're going to do is take your two patterns and lay them out on your fabric. Now, please make sure that you have the same size and you have a back and a front pattern. That's very important. Now, also, you want to look and make sure if you have a one-way design. A one-way design means that all of the writing is going the same way or all of the design is going the same way. So mine is dog faces, and all of my dogs are going the same way. So I want to make sure that the writing on the pattern is going the same way as the dog's faces, or otherwise, when my shorts are finished, the dogs would be upside down. So it doesn't matter if you start with the front or the back. You're going to lay it close to the salvage, but not on the salvage. The other thing is you want to be about one inch from the edge of the fabric so that in case the fabric is uneven at the cut edge. At this point, you will need your pins again and you will need a roller. You're going to go ahead and measure the, that it is on the straight of grain. And what that means is this arrow, which is called the grain line, this line which is called the grain line, needs to be even with the salvage. The lengthwise threads that are going along the salvage are the stronger threads. So it's very simple what you need to do. Take a pin, put it in one of the arrows. Measure from the arrow to the edge of the salvage. That is seven and seven eighths. So now I'm going to come down and this arrow needs to be seven and seven eighths also. I am about an eighth of an inch off, so I'm gonna move my pattern until it is the same. Once it's the same, make sure that you smooth it out and pin it down. Once you're finished with that, 
you would go ahead and do the same thing with the front pad. Now, the only thing that you have to make sure is that these two arrows are the same. They do not have to be the same measurement to the salvage as the back pattern. So now again, I will go ahead and measure. This one's eight and a half. So then this measurement down here needs to be eight and a half. I need to pivot my pattern just a little bit more and then pin it down. All right, next thing you need to do is continue to pin around the pattern. Now, to pin around the pattern, you want to pin in the corners. That's important so that your corner is pinned down when you start to cut. And then you will pin around the pattern, parallel to the pattern, about every two inches. And that is approximate, but you don't want to go too close together that they, it really wrinkles the pattern, nor do you want to go too far away because then your pattern will not be pinned down enough. So I will continue to pin this pattern around. Go to this corner and then par pin parallel to the pattern. 